Weaver, he could have a big night against this, this run defense, but looking to throw, and ooh, taking a huge hit, and there comes a flag. That was Jackie Matthews laying the lumber on Isaiah Bond, the true freshman. This will definitely be looked at for him. And he launched. So, Bill, that is, that's going to stomach. After review, the rule on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number eight is this qualified. Jackie Matthews, starting safety, will sit out. And Isaiah. Screen. Glass escaping pressure and throws as he was hit, and it's incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. Ten seconds to go. Flags come in now. Oh, extra activity at the end of this play, and more come in, and we've seen a little bit of tasseling tonight from these two teams, and one of the officials is down. And So that was Paris Ford that came flying over Glass. No, no hit or anything uh, there. Oh, and then yeah. Mike Glass throws a punch. Yeah, you can't do that. And Mike Glass is going to be ejected from this game, which is just uncharacteristic from him. And boy, not the way he wanted his. Getting the toughness back, getting that physicality back in the offense. And that's going to be a late hit. An unnecessary penalty against Toledo. Personal foul. Defense, number 56. Late hit. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. You on the sidelines next to your head coach. Quarter, it looks like a, a gonna be a big play offensively. The quarterback's down there. There's no need to attack him. And really, I mean he hits him with the crown of the helmet in the back. A replay initiated a look at that last late hit by Terrence Taylor. They were looking for target. He'll throw again and complete. Got a big stick. Got a flag down as well. Paris Ford there with the hits. You know, of a receiver that I think you could say is, is defenseless in that position there. The ruling on the field is confirmed. That's 15 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Also, number 12 is disqualified. He will also miss the first half of the Syracuse game on the 18th, and he is hopping mad. You better be careful he doesn't get another one. Mm -hmm. So that will move the football to the 38-yard line. Going real fast. Prince Tyson Gully, it's a fake. West keeps it down to the 35-yard line, and there's a late flag and some pushing and shoving. A lot of flags. Joey Harmon was in on the stop. Personal foul, number 10 on the offense. He threw a punch, therefore he's ejected from the remainder of the game. Third down. Austin Wilson or A.J. Long are the backup quarterback. Oh, pretty weak punch. Second down. Second down. A punch nonetheless. You're exactly right. It's a punch nonetheless. It was right there. It forced the officials to make a call. They could either let it go, something that actually happened, or they could call what they saw. Very much a kick. His way in the system. Second down, Peters. Nice catch for McCray. Turns up field. And McCray with a stiff arm to get inside the Maryland 25-yard line. There's a flag on the play. Detaching to block downfield. And that is just a big hit onto the helmet, launching into the helmet uh, with this reception. Now, here's the hit from Gator, and uh, it's not helmet to helmet, but he attacks the helmet with the shoulder pad because he's airborne. The passer and replay can add the targeting Seven and disqualify the, the play. targeting foul and is disqualified for the remainder of the contest. Well, you got it, Dean, and that sets Maryland back even more because... Is LSU coming or backing off? They're coming. And he launches it. Flag is down as Pokey Wilson comes up with that! Ollie Gay, number 11, that's targeting, ladies and gentlemen. It's inside, has... I mean, it's just, I mean, that's... That's as clear as it gets. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's crown of the helmet. 
header neck area, launch, I mean, you name it. After further review, number 11 did commit the foul for targeting. He has been ejected for the remainder of the game. Bearcats showing pressure. Pirates pick it up. Mitchell was walloped at the two. And here come penalty flags everywhere. What a shot. Woo. Yeah, it, it certainly was, Roy. And I do think this will stand as targeting. He comes across. He's a defenseless player. So even if they don't consider it crown, it's done. The running on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number zero, number 10. Number 10 is disqualified for the rest of the game. Uh, he will be able to stay on the defensive line. Kirby Smart's going to be happy. the contact as soon as the up earlier but maybe not Wilson doesn't look like he was oh, getting ready yeah. to run can we go earlier to see either way fair catch made and a flag comes in that's going to be kick catch interference and Johnson is down and that's where Wilson came in and that was an easy call for the officials game of next season he would miss the first half of that one and that mudly fired up right now that's cheap you see clear fair catch signal right there and he still lays him out previous plays under further review replay has to confirm all aspects of targeting that shouldn't be hard but let's call that what it was that was a cheap shot yeah that was a dirty play and compete for a championship in the Big Ten West. McConnell, that one thrown a tad bit low and incomplete. Tyrone Tracy, the target. Looks like some incidental contact on the side of the helmet. Well, the problem is, is that in context, he's wondering if this is lateral or not, kind of going for the ball and then Goes in kind of with the shoulder, side of the head. And I certainly hope that they don't. Personal foul, targeting, defense number 11. We're hit on a defenseless player. 15-yard penalty, an automatic first down. Number 11 is disqualified. I mean, this is, uh, uh, Mike, I know that you're with us. Look. Two by two, the receivers, and on the slant, the catch is made by a big Princeton fan, and the tight end is still running a late flag near where the tackle was made. Personal foul, targeting number 21 on the defense. The previous play is under further review. And Snick he lowers his head. Bang, right there. That's, that's a textbook example of targeting. Team in tackles. It'll be a loss if he is, as we expect, excluded from the rest of the game here. A guy is. After further review, targeting by number 21 is confirmed with the crown of the helmet. That penalty is half the distance to the goal. First down. See the frustration for him and Worry. He was off to a big start tonight, made six tackles already. They'll have to do without him. And now they throw another true freshman. This is a light. Now there's no telling what number three can do if he can get this his hand. This Iowa cut block team has been close. <laughs> Big hit on DeGene, and that's going to be catcher interference. Play I was expecting. You see him make the fair catch symbol. You just got to have better awareness when you're 